Covenant, confirmation, and commissioning. That's where we're going for three weeks. So tonight, I want to talk to you about covenant. I want you to remember God's covenant. No matter where you go and what you do, no matter what season you're in, I, 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 I beg you, remember covenant. What my grandparents' generation ignored, my parents' generation experimented with. What my parents' generation experimented with, my generation accepted as norm. And what my generation accepted, your generation celebrates. Listen to me, the culture that we live in, people in general, will always push the envelope. There will always be a trend towards sin God will remind you of his faithfulness when he brings you back to covenant number two God will warn you of your unfaithfulness when he brings you back to covenant and number three God's going to establish or reestablish that you are his let me ask you this are you anticipating God's faithfulness in your life God will remind us of his faithfulness and God will warn us of our unfaithfulness. I tell people, if you, when, when you go through that, that, that strong, that, that season of temptation, begin to worship. Because worship says, I'm presenting myself to you. I'm saying, take this, because I don't know, I can't handle it. Take this and shape it reshape it, form it, carve it, do surgery, do whatever you want to do. So my goal is to follow him. That's it. And God does the work. When God brings you back to a covenant, he wants to establish that you are his.